Rise and shine, Jacob. Huh? What? Get up. You're not gonna eat separately from us today. Come on. What's going on? We have some leftover food from last night and we're gonna go eat now. Uh, okay. Let me get by so I can wake up these three. It's Shiloh. What do you want? Come get up, we're going to eat. <sighs> okay. Blake, honey, time to get up. Mm, but I don't want to. You gotta get up, bud, or you're going to miss breakfast. Oh boy, food. Our laws, and I'm sure you just learned it, is to respect our sleeping cycle. Yeah, we don't like to get woken up. Gotcha. You can't catch me. Whoa, you're getting fast there, pal. Haha, <laughs> I beat you, Daddy. You beat Mommy, too. So, do you guys always get breakfast? Oh no, only on rare occasions. Lyra must be in a good mood today. All right, everyone is awake now. Let's eat. Jesus. Ha, huh, how'd you like getting your ass handed to you? You guys could have warned me. Ha, huh, I thought you would have figured that out by now. Now can I eat? You can try. Ah. Damn, I thought he would have let me in. <laughs> you have a lot to learn, Jacob. Defenders, why don't you go out on patrol now? Yes, ma'am. Come on, idiots, let's go. Come on, Blake, let's wash you up in the pond. Yay! Now can I eat? Ha, <laughs> knock yourself out. I wouldn't even bother going for the carcass. There's hardly anything left.
back off. This is mine. But you just said... You'll know for the next time. Now back off. Ugh, I'm so confused. Yeah, there's pretty much nothing on here. I picked out most of the good stuff. See, I know my stuff. This was a pretty big gopher, so it was enough to keep me full. I'm pretty much done. Wanna go talk to Atticus? Yeah, sure. I'm done too. What do they do with the carcasses when they're done? That's one of my jobs when everyone's done with dinner. Well, when I'm done with dinner and the carcass looks good enough to dispose of, then I drag it out of the territory. You drag it all the way out? Well, yeah, we don't want any predators to come. The territory isn't that big, it's not hard. Can I help you? Well, I can't do that much, but I can help out a little bit. Yeah, sure, I'll drag the deer carcass, but how about you take the rabbit and the gopher? Okay, sounds good. I think this is about good. All right. Well, this is the territory, isn't it? I can see the pond up there. Yeah, I can see Spirit and Shiloh up there. So, is the pond not your territory then? Well, it is. It's right on the edge, pretty much. We still claim it as ours. We defend it from predators that we think will be a threat to us. But if it's Fox, or a coyote, we just leave them be. If it's a big jaguar like you, they could be a serious threat to us. And you could have been. Or if a group of predators come, then the defenders will take care of it. Sometimes Lyra will assist. She goes out on her own a lot, too, and patrols as well. Okay, I see. So, Jason was talking to me about having you patrol and stuff. Well, if he does end up doing it, he'll, he'll tell you about the territory. We're in the plains right now. So, the plains are pretty much the edge of the territory. It's the middle of the pond and Atlas Peak. Okay, well, I know what the pond is, but what's Atlas Peak? Atlas Peak is the rocks you see over there. And yes, it was named after the white tiger in our pride because she's a badass. Is there a story behind why it's named that? Oh, yeah, and boy, it's interesting. So, Chris and I joined the pride together. But this all happened before we joined. So Atlas, Jason, and Catherine were the only defenders. There was an enemy pride that always came over and fought us because they wanted land. And, well, I see why. It's just so amazing. <laughs> Alright, go on. Anyways, I heard that Catherine and Jason got hurt in a fight, so Atlas was the only one out patrolling one day. Over at Atlas Peak, before it was called Atlas Peak, Atlas was just patrolling over there, doing her own business, when four other Pride members from the enemy Pride came and attacked her. I believe it was a snow leopard, a jaguar, and two other normal leopards. So, some pretty big animals. She fought all four on her own and ended up killing all of them to protect her family and territory. She fought four cats on her own and let alone killed every single one of them? Yeah, like I said, Atlas is a badass. Damn, that's insane. Almost unbelievable. It really did happen, you can ask her yourself. So, since that event happened, that place has been called Atlas Peak, and that pride never attacked again. 
Well, I'm learning more and more about each of your Pride members every day. Oh boy, this is just the beginning for you. There's a lot you don't know about us. Alright, we should head back now. Yeah, I agree. Let's go. Hey Atticus, what you doing? I was actually looking for you guys. Where did you go? We took out the carcasses. Oh, okay. How's your wound doing there? Oh, it feels so much better. That's good to hear. Yeah, I'm glad I can say it. Shiloh! Shiloh! Shiloh, we need you! What is it, Crystal? It's Jason. He's hurt. How's his wound? Is it really bad? He's bleeding from the shoulder. It's not a big gash, but he's still bleeding. What happened? There were two lions in our territory that I fought off. Male or female? Both lionesses. Great, just what we need. Another lion pride around here. I think they've been using the same hunting ground as us. S didn't Sprint say he smelled lions? That is correct. Was it the plains by Atlas Peak? Yes, it was. That's not good. That's not good at all. Let me see Jason. Oh, it's not that bad. I'll wrap it up. Great. Now we have two injured males. Hey, Creek. Yes, Queen Lyra? Why don't you take Jason's place on patrol tomorrow? Give him a day of rest. Yes, ma'am. I'm glad to. Do you think you four can handle yourselves out there with those lions? Yes, ma'am. Jason was the only one to fight today. He told us so we wouldn't get injured as well. Okay, good. Play it smart. If you see those lions again, only have Atlas and Catherine fight unless you really need backup. Crystal and Creek are small, so we can't risk them fighting lions. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Also, would you like me to mark? Yes, that is why I'm having you go out there. Otherwise, I wouldn't need you to go. Okay, sorry. Should I go too? No, Atticus. We need more cats back at camp. Okay. So, I brought a dead iris to wrap your leg in because I think you'll only need it in for two days, maybe three days max. Now let me get you set up here. Um, there you go. How does it feel, Jason? Try standing on it. It feels better. Thank you, Shiloh. Of course. It's my job. Oh, honey, I'm so glad you're okay. Of course I was gonna be okay. I know. I just love you. I know you do. I love you too, dear. Jason, get some rest. I will gladly take advantage of that. The rest of you might as well rest for the day. I feel as though we'll be out a while hunting tomorrow. Alright, Blake. Spirit, let's get some rest. Okay, hun. Blake, let's go. Race you there. Oh no, you're too fast. I didn't really do much today, so I'm not tired. Yeah, I was expecting to go hunting today. Well, that's a bummer. You guys wanna hang out at the pond? Is it safe to? Oh yeah, I would go there by myself. Having you two will be fine. Let's go.